Morning lads, it's ten past eight in the morning. Obviously we need to be up really early this time for the long way trip to Bucky. Bus leaves in about an hour and twenty minutes, so we need to be up at East End Park for about nine o'clock really. Um obviously it's a tricky away day for us we had it last season and I think it was five three in the end that we won. So it's never easy but um I'm sure that we'll end up having enough to win the game. We did last season when we played a few you know, um, low end first team players, so I'm assuming we'll do the same again. Um, we'll be using players like Andy Ryan and Nicky Clark up front, um, and just, just kind of players like Fraser Ayrd and David Hopkirk and Splain, players like that. Um, obviously, a massive hold on to Callum Smith and Stuart Morrison for their. Um, feature bit in the Scotland game just last night. Obviously Callum Smith got two goals and a 3-3 draw. Nick Stuart Morrison played the full 90 minutes as well so that's obviously good for us. Gives us a bit of exposure and shows that we're good at the uh, home breeding talent sort of thing and um, yeah it's really good to see so uh, hopefully we can pull off on the day and get through to the next round of the cup and maybe draw Irish or Welsh team away because that would be ideal really for an away day. Um, so yeah, here we go on a road to Bucky. Also, well, we've got the usual score predictions today. Um, I'll go for 4 1 pass, Mason for the score. Oh, 2-1, uh, because we've not got a full strength team. There you go. There's our score predictions. Thank you. Just once again to tell you that that the Victoria Lounge will not be open at half time, so you, I'm afraid you won't get in there. And if you if you go out, you don't get back in. <laughs>
Come on, Parf! Oh, 14 hours after the last clip, uh, the first clip that I filmed, we're finally back home and in the exact same places where I started. Um, came away with a 3 0 win. Nicky Clark got on the score sheet again twice, Andy Ryan as well. I think they were all, uh, all three of the goals were headers as well. Um, pretty routine stuff. It was a pretty, like, I don't know, just. The game just kind of flew by and it wasn't really entertaining much. We had a lot of chances obviously and probably should have scored a few more goals but it ended up being a really, really comfortable game and the complete opposite of what it was last season where we were going there kind of feeling a bit uncomfortable during the game and um, kind of struggling to get past Bucky and stuff but they, they posed no threat this time and kind of just strolled past the game really. Uh, I thought Lewis Martin had quite a good game. Gave my man of the match on the supporters bus to Lee Ashcroft. Um, Alan Splain had quite a good game. Obviously, Nicky Clark with two goals had a good game as well. Could have had more goals. Alan Splain had two efforts, one save, one off the bar. Um, I think Andy Ryan must have had a few. Nicky Clark, just the usual. Higginbotham had one as well when he came in the second half. Cardo looked bright and lively again when he played in the first half and Scott Lockhead had a good show as well so um, it was good to see Cammy Gill eventually getting his senior debut as well so a good enough day, a very long bus journey, about 9 hours return, 4 hours and a half there, 4 hours and a half back and then because we live in Alawa, another half an hour each way so been 14 hours out of the house travelling and came back well in, which is what we wanted. So, on to the next one, which is Morton Away on next Saturday. So, hopefully, we can get a win there and we'll be back again for another match day vlog. So, remember to like, comment, and subscribe this time, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.